Jehovah is a man of war. His mercy and forever, forever, ever. Oh, praise is only name. The God of the God of Abraham, I think, and Jacob, Jehovah, the man of war, his mercy is on your rest forever and never. Oh, praise the Lord. How long, holy God. Today. 
Jesus, na biki ma. Oh yes. Jesus, na biki ma. Who no no am call am come on boy. Jesus, na biki ma. Who no no am call am come on boy. Jesus, na biki ma. Jesus, na biki ma, who no no am for am for boy. Jesus, biki ma, who no no am for am for boy. Oh, Jesus, na biki ma, Jesus, na biki ma, who no no am for am for boy. Jesus, biki ma, who no no am for am for boy. Jesus, na biki ma. Jesus, na biki ma, who no no am for am for my boy. Jesus, na biki ma, who no no am for am for my boy. We have a reason to praise the Lord. We have a reason to praise the Lord in our hearts. We have a reason to praise the Lord. Do you have a reason to praise the Lord? Do you have a reason to praise the Lord in your life? Do you have a reason to praise the Lord? Do you have a reason to praise the Lord? I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord in my life. I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord. I like your song. I like your song. I I like your coin, you do. I like your coin, I like your coin, you I like your coin, you do. I like your coin, Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. 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 The most high in it, 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 the most
Io We are in the section of our prayer, and our prayer is connecting to the reservation power. So I pray that the power of reservation will fall upon our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us tell God, let us thank God. Let, Let us tell God, let us say, Father, I thank you because you always heard me. And I believe that you're going to hear my prayer tonight. Let us appreciate the Lord for what he has done for us, for what he has done and what he, and what he is going to do tonight. Let us appreciate the name of the Lord. You know, Jesus Christ said, Father, I thank you because you heard my prayer. So let us to appreciate the Lord that he always hear us anytime we call upon him. Let us appreciate him. Let us say, Father, we bless your name. Prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord, bless your holy name. We appreciate your holy name. Father, we say thank you. Lord, because you always answer our prayer. Father, Lord, we because anytime you call us, you always care for us. We appreciate your holy name because you are the Father. We appreciate your holy name because you are the Lord, your Father. We appreciate your Lord. Amen. 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 Let us tell God that God, Lord, help me tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, help me tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I need you, Lord, help Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let me to Lord, 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 Lord,
in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In, the book, in the book, in the book, in the book of John, in the book of John six, in the book of John six uh, sixty three, he said, "Is the spirit of the Lord that quickness the fresh prophet nothing? Let us tell it to God that God, spirit of the living God." Bring back to life every good thing that have died in my life. Spirit of the living God, bring them back to life. Every good thing that have died in my life. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every good thing that have died. Every good thing that have died. Let us pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. in my prayer life, in my holy name, 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 and the word was God, and 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 the, and the word was God. He said, "In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and God and the word was God." In that chapter, I, I I want to I want I want to use that verse three. He said, "And all things is made by Him, is made by this word." And we can see the confirmation in Genesis one verse three. The Lord says, "Let there be light." And there was light. The Lord speak the, the word of authority. The Lord speak, and that is what we can see in the life of in that in 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 in, 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 in I mean in the look of in the book of Luke eight fifty four. The Lord get when the Lord gets there, he see that people were crying. The Lord tell them to stay outside, and he touched the the, the lady and said, "Need arise." And the person that died arise because the Lord spoke the word and authority follow. The word of restoration, the Lord spoke the word and authority follow. So let us tell it to God of God, Lord of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, speak your word of restoration into my situation tonight. Speak your word of restoration into my situation tonight. The Lord is a living God. in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray I want us to pray that prayer very fast I want us to pray that prayer very fast we want to pray that prayer again I don't know why you come to I don't know why you you join the platform tonight because I believe there is something you are you are you are telling God God this is what I want you to do for me and I want to I want you I want you to tell it to God that God I want you not to speak your word into that situation. I know you can do it. The Bible says the voice of the Lord is mighty and is full of majesty. Oh, you want to want to talk to me? Oh, you 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 want to talk to
who get agitated, that is better money. Yeah. So let us tell you to go that God speak your word to my situation. Is it your family? Is it your marital life? Is it your job? Anything at all? Tell it to God because He is the one that has the word. Oh, who God for the Lord? Let us tell you to God that God speak your word of restoration to my situation tonight because I don't want to go on the same way I came. Father, Lord, speak your word of restoration to my situation tonight. Let us open our mouth and pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, oh, oh Lord. Speak your word of restoration to my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Into my family, into my material life, my physical life, my, my spiritual life. And twice, Father, Lord, speak your word of restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, speak in your word of restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And let us pray. Every eating and bear, every eating and burial potential begin to come forth now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every eating and burial every eating potential and potential that has been buried. That let us tell you to God that God Almighty to bring them life to begin to bring them forth back to life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every eating and burial potential begin to come forth now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every eating and burial and burial potential. God that begin to come forth. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus, begin to come forth now. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to come forth now. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus, name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. He said, Dry bone shall rise again. Dry bone shall rise again. I bone shall rise again. I bone shall rise again. Lord, Jehovah, he is able to do all things. the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Beloved, we can do more today. In the house. I mean, let's try and invite others. Let's try and invite more people in. I pray the Lord will help us all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
Roy Fife and House, please signify. Roy Fife and House, please signify. Amen. We are still in the mood of prayer. Let's close our eyes. And as we sing this song, loud and clear. Say, Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. 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 Holy Ghost, deliver me. Me by fire, Holy Ghost, deliver 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 me by fire. I want to show this first prayer point in this section like this. I want to share this prayer point like this. Say, I break myself loose. I break I myself break myself. Uh -huh. Say, I break myself loose. I, I break myself. Loose I break myself. From every shackle of sickness and untimely death. From from in the name of Jesus, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. I break myself loose from every shackle of sickness and not tiny death. In the name of Jesus, pray for your wife, pray for the husband, pray for your children. I break my wife, I break my children, I break my children. There's no one sickness, I'm on tiny death. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, my wife, my wife, in Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus mighty name we pray amen i want us to declare this loud and clear Say, I shall not die. I shall not die. Uh -huh. Say, I shall not die. I, I shall, shall not die. die. But I shall live. I shall live. I shall live. To declare the words of the Lord. In the land of the living, in the land of Jesus, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. It's empty. Then I will sing myself, my wife, my children, my family. We know that, but we shall live for the glory of the Lord. In the land of the living, in the name of Jesus, we show that it is not our portion. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And <laughs> Any power challenge him, only goes fire challenge him now. Any power challenge me, only goes fire challenge him now. Any power challenging only goes fire challenging now. Any power challenging only goes power challenging only goes power challenging now. Only goes fire 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 
Amen. Spirit of Goliath. Spirit of Goliath. Say spirit of Herod. Spirit of Pharaoh. Say spirit of Pharaoh. Spirit of Pharaoh. Release my body. Release my body. Release my body in the name of In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. That is spirit of fear. That is spirit of error. That is spirit of Goliath. Release my body. In the name of Jesus. Release me now. In the name of Jesus. Release me now. In the name of Jesus. Release me now. Release me now. In the name of Jesus. Release me now. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Say angelic surgeon. Angelic surgeon. Uh-huh. Say angelic surgeon. Angelic surgeon. Visit me tonight. Visit me tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty 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 of In any area you need the touch of the Holy Spirit. Let angelic surgeon. Yes, touch me tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let angelic surgeon. Visit me tonight, angelic surgeon. Visit me tonight, angelic surgeon. Visit me tonight, in the name of Jesus. Let angelic surgeon. Visit me tonight, in the name of Jesus. Let angelic surgeon. Visit me tonight, in the name of Jesus. Angelic surgeon. Visit me tonight, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. My life carry fire. My life carry fire, Holy Ghost fire. My life carry fire. My life carry fire, Holy Ghost fire. My life carry fire. My life carry fire, Holy Ghost fire. My life carry fire. My life carry fire, Holy Ghost fire. My life carry fire. My life carry fire, Holy Ghost fire. My life carry fire. My life carry fire, Holy Ghost fire. My life carry fire. My life carry fire, Holy Ghost fire. Fire, Holy Ghost fire, life carry fire, Holy Ghost fire, my life carry fire, Holy Ghost fire, my life carry fire, Holy Ghost fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Say, my body, my body. Say, hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Receive angelic repair. Receive angelic. Receive angelic repair. In the name of Jesus, in any area in the church of God, mention this place. Mention this place. Say, my body, hear the word of the Lord. Receive angelic repair. In the name of Jesus, receive angelic repair. In the name of Jesus, my body, hear the word of the Lord. Receive angelic repair. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want to sing this song again. Sing this song. Say, Amen. unshakable must be shaken, unmovable must be moved. We are serving the God of fire. Unshakable must be shaken. Open your mouth. Unshakable must be shaken, unmovable keep on moving. We are serving the God of fire. Unshakable must be shaken. 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 
Unshakeable must be shaken. Unshakeable must be shaken. Unshakeable must be shaken. Unshakeable must be shaken. Unshakeable must be shaken. We have two more prayer points to go in this section. I want to open your mouth and shout this one loud and clear. Say, prison yard of my father's house. Prison yard of my father's house. The prison yard of my mother's house. Prison yard of God. my mother's house. They hear the word of the living God. They hear the word of the living God. Release me by fire. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, prison yard of my mother's house, prison yard of my mother's house, hear the word of the Lord, who listen by far, 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 who listen by fire, in the name of Jesus, thou prison yard of my father's house, thou prison yard of my mother's house, who listen, who listen, Release my fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. This special announcement. Special announcement. Oh, special announcement. Special announcement. My destiny is not for sale. My destiny is not for sale. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Special announcement. My destiny is not for sale. In the name of Jesus. My destiny is not for sale. In the name of Jesus. The destiny of my family is not for sale. In the name of Jesus. My destiny is not for sale. In the name of Jesus. 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 I your father. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Testimonies are sealed in the name of Jesus. Sister Gladys, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Testimony time. Bless you, Okay. We're going to start with our prayer request. Prayer request number one. A fellow said, good morning, sir, ma'am, from here. Thank God for his faithfulness. Please. I want Dominion family to join me in prayers. I will be going for an interview on Monday in one of the places I submitted my CV. I need God guidance on what to study and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's begin to pray. Fellow like us, we're going to pray for this fellow seeking for job interview. Let us pray for this fellow like this. Say, God of the Father, God of the Father, God, God. God the Father, God the Son, God. and God the Holy Spirit. Locate God this fellow the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray for this fellow that is looking for job interview.
Okay, let's begin to pray for especially Sister Patricia here in Abuja. She has been an she couldn't join us today. Let's begin to commit her into God's hands and other sick people. Father, those that are lying critically in the hospital, Father, Lord Jesus, some that don't even have the money to even pay for their hospital bills. Let's begin to commit the sick people into the God's hands. Father, Lord, heal them in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, may you heal them in the name of Jesus. May Father, heal them. Heal them in the name of Jesus. those that are in the bed, but that in the bed, we pray. Empower them with the spirit. Command them to rise up. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray for the Lord who knows the vision. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I promise to have a three people like this. Father, we have one sheet. for letting me escape death. Our car had a vital accident and I came out on hold. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Pray for this fellow that the miracle of the Lord shall remain permanent in his life in the name of Jesus. Let's but pray for this Jesus. Lord Let and God for the God, Lord Almighty, we know of any kind will not come to the adrenaline in the name of the Lord of Jesus to come in the name of the Lord. And again, in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord 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 the spirit of God will reach the standard where we will reach you. The Lord will continue to overcome in the name of Jesus. The Lord will continue to overcome in the name of Jesus. They will continue to overcome in the name of Jesus. They will continue to live over in the name of Jesus. They will live over the form of excellence in the name of Jesus. They will live over every form of excellence in the name of Jesus. They will be victorious in any form of excellence in the name of Jesus. I will stop all my things. As a God, we command the angel of the Lord to lift them up so that they will not be Lord, I he said, there is this job I have been praying for. I had an interview with them, but they told me 
They told me they would get back to me. For three months now, no call from them. But surprisingly, on Tuesday, on Tuesday morning, they called me to come and pay my employment letter. I'll be resuming on Monday, thanks to the Dominion family for their prayers. Hallelujah. 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 Our God is a God of testimony. Mm -hmm. We thank God for this testimony. Let's begin to thank God for this brother. For this Father, we pray this will be a point of contact to many in the name of Jesus. More just in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is good all the time. All our prayer has been answered in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And the testifier, their testimony shall be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And every one of us will testify other time in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Let's open our Bible to the book of Osea, chapter number 10. Osea, chapter number 10. Yeah, I'm going to read from verse number 12. Yeah, about Osea chapter 10. And yeah, I'm reading from verse number 12. Yeah, about. The Bible says, so to yourself in righteousness. Read in mercy, break up your fallow ground. For it is time to seek the Lord till He come and bring righteousness upon you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Wonderful God, we thank you. We bless your name. We appreciate you for another opportunity tonight. To hear from you, to listen to your word, be thou exalted, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, as we go into your word tonight, open our eyes of understanding in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your word fall into a good ground of our heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let your word germinate and bring forth fruit in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Over with the blood of Jesus, 
and with the fall of God. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, what I call tonight uh, exhortation is what I break up your fallow ground. Break up your fallow ground. Beloved, this is another time of refreshing time before God. God has proposed to refresh us, to renew us, and to revitalize us. And the Lord has proposed to pour out his spirit, his grace, and his power upon our lives. So when you look at the passage that we read, the Bible says we should sow to ourselves in righteousness in order to live in mercy. That we should sow a good seed. We should do what seems right in our sight so that we can receive the mercy of God. We can receive the goodness of God. He said, break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord. So if there is an uncultivated aspect of our life, if there is an unbroken aspect of our life, God is calling you and I that we should break up our fallow ground and we should seek the Lord so that God can raise the reign of righteousness upon us. And we can enjoy its benefits in our life. You know, when you look at the Bible very well, the Bible is filled with the truth of reaping and sowing. Bible emphasizes much on the truth of reaping and sowing. And when we are talking about the law of reaping and sowing, Many tend to think of negative results. All is not about negative results. But here we can see that the result can be positive or negative. Though the Bible says, whatsoever man sweat shall he reap. So if you sow unto righteousness, you will reap in righteousness. And if you sow unto unrighteousness, then the result thereof will come. Because there is a say that says, what goes round also comes round. So the Bible is clear about the law of reaping and sowing. So it now depends on sowing. Praise the Lord. Yes. So Apostle Paul also reminded us in one of his books in Ephesians 2 that we will reap that what we sow, either it is evil or it is good. And this OCR that we just read is using the illustration of feed and crops. It's talking about ground. It say, break up your fallow ground. And it's talking about Reaping in mercy. So he analyzed it for us in the area of the field and the crops. Mm. And when we are talking about feed, feed is representing our lives. The feed the Bible is talking about here yes, is representing you and I, it's representing our life. Why the crops that will be sold? is the word of God. It's the word of God. And Jesus talked about the parable of sowers. He said, why a sower is going about sowing? One fell on good ground. Another fell on stony 
ground and other on the thorny ground. And it's only the one that fell on the good ground that bring forth fruit. Other one that fell on other grounds, they were crushed to death. They couldn't grow because there was no enough nutrient. There was no enough strength for them to germinate. So God is calling you and I that we should break up our fallow ground and we should sow in mercy so that the righteousness of God, his reign of righteousness can fall upon our life. When you read further in verse number 13 of the same Osea chapter number 10, the Bible say, ye have flowed wickedness and ye have reaped iniquity. Ye have eaten the fruit of lies because thou didst trust in thy way in the multitude of thy mighty men. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the Bible is telling us that many of us are sowing the seed of wickedness. Some of us are sowing the seed of discord. And whosoever that sow the seed of wickedness or discord, the Bible says it will reap iniquity. And when iniquity grows, then it results into punishment or sometimes into death. So God is calling every one of us that we should not trust on our way. We should trust on the way of the Lord. We should not lean on our understanding. We should put our trust in him and do what is right or what is good in his sight so that his blessing and his goodness that he has proposed for our life shall take place in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As I said earlier on, God has proposed to refresh us. He has proposed to bring the time of refreshment of our life. He has proposed to renew our strength, our spiritual strength. And God has proposed to prepare us for his abundance that is coming upon our life. But you and I have the duty to break away, to, to break up our fallow ground, to rearrange our life, to rearrange our way, in order to suit the purpose of God for our life. Here, God is also speaking of a plot field, ground that is ready to receive the seed. He's talking about the ground that is ready to receive the seed. He said, break up your fallow ground, sow and reap, sow to yourself in righteousness so that you can reap in mercy. So he's talking about the ground that has already been prepared to receive seed, to receive the word of God, to receive the blessings of God. So it's no longer talking about the uncultivated land or the stony land or the land that has not yet prepared. So God wants you and I to make ourselves ready, to make ourselves available, so that he can sow the seed of his word into our life. He can sow the seed of his word into our life, so that we can reap in mercy, and the rain of his righteousness can fall upon our life. So there is a question that I want us to ask ourselves. If truly we are ready for that seed of the word of God to come into our life. Number one, is your life ready for God to work on it? Is your life ready for God to work on it? Is your heart open enough to receive the word of God, to receive the word of God, what God is about to tell you, what God is expecting you to do, are you ready to carry it out? You know, at times, following the way of the Lord, 
might be too difficult for us. But the Bible says, when we follow the way of the law, the hand therefore is good for you and I. That popular scripture in the scripture, the book of Jeremiah 29, verse number 11. He said, the thought I have towards you is the thought of peace and not of evil to give you your expected end. So when God is taking you, he will surely take you to your final, to your, to, to your final destination, to your good destination, to your fulfillment destination. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So is your heart open enough? Or are you ready? Or prepare to meet the Lord your God. And whosoever that does not cultivate the land of his life, whosoever that is not follow the ground of his life, whosoever that does not prepare his life, will not have the opportunity to meet the Lord. We not have the opportunity to receive the reign of blessing, the reign of righteousness. We not have the opportunity to obtain the mercy of God. So beloved tonight, God is calling you and I for concrete preparation. For we want us to be ready because the time of the Lord is fast approaching. Anything can happen anytime from now. And if our life is not giving out a godly sound, the trumpet of our life is not sounding well, we will not be able to meet with the Lord at the end of the day. The Lord will bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Now, what does it mean to break up your value grant? What does it mean to break up your value ground. Number one is to cultivate the uncultivated area of your life. Is to cultivate the uncultivated area of your life. Number two is to follow the unplowed area of your life. Those areas that are area of your life that are yet to be plowed, those areas of your life that are yet to be followed, then God expects you to work on that area. That little, little uh, sin, that little, little wickedness, that little, little force that is ready to spoil the ovine. So God wants you to work on that area. Number three, what does it mean to break your fallow ground? It is to acknowledge your sin and open your heart to God for forgiveness and guidance. To acknowledge your sin and to open your heart unto God for forgiveness and guidance. Number four, what does it mean to break your fallow ground? It is to repent from your lukewarmness and carelessness. Repent from your lukewarmness and carelessness. If you have not been cold nor hot before, God said he's going to put you out. So he wants you to repent from that, your lukewarmness and your carelessness. He wants you to be hot. He wants you to be endlessly hot for him. He wants you to, be, to, to, to strive and to wrestle against Satan so that you can be prepared and make yourself ready for the day of the Lord. Then number five is to break away from doubt, bitterness, and all unforgiveness in your life. You break away from bitterness, break away from strife, break away from doubt, and unforgiveness in your life. Then number six is to seek the Lord in truth and in righteousness. To seek the Lord in truth and in righteousness. When you read this popular scripture, the book of uh, John, chapter number four, 
verse number 23. John chapter 4, verse number 23. The Bible says, But the hours have come, and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Praise the Lord. So this is the time God is expecting you and I to serve him, to praise him, to worship him in truth and in the spirit. So seek the Lord in truth and in righteousness. Most especially for your divine direction and guidance. Then number seven, it is to allow truth or genuine revival to start from us. To allow true and genuine revival to start from us, to begin from us. God wants to revive the world. And before, before God can cause any revival in any generation, it must first of all start through you and hide. So God expects you now and I to allow genuine revival to start from us. Then the last point I want to make on what it means to break your fallow ground is to be in Christ's kingdom. To be in Christ's kingdom. That is, is for you to allow the rule and the reign of Christ in your life. You allow his control, his domineering over your life, is to allow his reign over your life, is to allow his rule over your life. That is what is meant to break your fallow ground. You allow Christ to be all in all in your life. And you dare not do anything without his consent, without his approval. That is what God is expecting from you and I. Now, what do you do? What do you do? What are the principles for you to be ready to prepare for his coming back or to prepare to meet the Lord your God? Number one, go back to the Lord in reference and in intensive prayer life. Go back to the Lord in reference and in intensive prayer life. You must reference God. You must fear God. You must believe God. You must love God. You must serve God. And in intensive prayer life, you know, your prayer is a means by which you communicate with God. Without praying, it is impossible for you to communicate with God. So when you love God, when you fear him, when you respect him and you reference him, then you communicate with him. You fellowship with him. Number two, things to do is to seek the outpouring and the infilling of the Holy Spirit afresh upon your life. Seek the outpouring and the infilling of the Holy Spirit of God afresh upon your life. You need to be renewed day by day. We need to check ourselves. When you look at the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5, the Bible says we should examine ourselves daily. We should check on ourselves, except we will be reprobate, whether we are seeing the Lord or not. So we need to be refilled every day. We need to be renewed every day. So we need the fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit in our life on a daily basis. So those are the things that will keep, up, keep us going. And those are the things that will keep us preparing ourselves to meet the Lord. Then number three, seek the Lord with fasting and prayer for his gifts, graces, and strength in your life. Seek the Lord with fasting and prayer for his gifts, graces, and strength 
in your life. So without God, without him strengthening you, without God helping you, you can do nothing. You can't meet up with the standard of God, except he help you, except he strengthen you, except he release his grace upon your life. Because the Bible says, by his grace, we are saved, not by our work, that no man to, 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 to justify himself on this. So seek the Lord with fasting, his gift and his strength upon your life. The number four thing that we need to do in order to prepare ourselves and to deal with him, get informed, he keep yourself and be resourceful. Equip yourself, be informed, develop yourself. Develop yourself. Don't remain stagnant. There is a saying that says, when you stop learning, then you start decaying. So always get informed. Always equip yourself. Always train yourself, develop yourself. Learn new things on a daily basis. Refresh yourself on a daily basis so that you can be relevant and be prepared for the coming of our God. Then number five, possess a growing and a learning spirit. Possess a growing and a learning spirit. Don't assume that you have known all or you have attained all. Always possess a learning spirit. In that course, even though some of the things that you have learned before, then you can relearn and unlearn new things as well. So have that spirit within you. And that is what we are talking about, humble spirit. The Bible says, blessed are those that are poor in the spirit, for they shall inherit the kingdom of God. Then number six, submit yourself to God for purging, pruning, and testing afresh. Submit your God to God. Allow God to cultivate the uncultivated area of your life. Allow God to prune you. Allow God to purge you. Allow God to pass through the land of your life. So whatsoever that may want to stand as an hindrance, as a blockage, then the power of God, the spirit of God can clear them away. And your life can be made ready to receive the reign of blessing, the reign of righteousness of God upon your life. Then number eight, enthrone Christ afresh upon your life. Let Christ come afresh upon your life. Sometimes some of us are backslidden many years back, but we might not know. We might still be thinking whether we are still with the Lord, whereas we have gone far away from the Lord many years back. So always enthrone Christ afresh into your life. Invite him to your life afresh. And if you will learn more new things, um, you will be exposed to many new things. Then number nine, submit and obey to the Lordship. Submit and obey his Lordship in every area of your life. According to Romans chapter 12, the Bible says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you submit yourself unto God as a living sacrifice. Every aspect of your life, every area of your life, give them to God. Submit them to God. Don't hold any part of your life to yourself. Give everything unto God. Let there be total submission. Let there be total consecration. Let there be total committed unto, commitment unto God. Submit yourself unto God completely. Obey him in all ramifications. Obey him in all things. Ready to say yes, Lord, to the Lord. Whenever he beckon upon you, whenever he give you an instruction, whenever he asks you to do something, always say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You don't hesitate with your maker. 
You don't argue with your maker. So submit every area of your life to him and obey him in everything. Then lastly, what we're supposed to do so that we can be prepared and meet the Lord our God, be prayerful and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be prayerful and be filled with the Holy Spirit. The Bible say, though our outward man is being destroyed, he said our inward man is renewed day by day. So we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. So it is those that are filled with the Holy Spirit. Those are the people that can prepare, that can be in expectation of the coming of the Lord. It is those that are filled with the Holy Spirit that can hear the sound of the trumpet whenever the Lord's call. It is those that are filled with the Holy Spirit that can be sensitive to the information that God is passing across to us. So fill your life with the Holy Spirit. Let the Spirit of, of God occupy this every space in your life. Let the Spirit of God occupy every aspect of your life. Meditate in the Word of God day and night. Meditate about His kingdom. Meditate about that home that you are going. Meditate about what, where will you spend your eternity. Let it be our goal all the time. God is calling you and I this evening. He said we should break up our fallow ground. We should break up our fallow ground. Those things in our life, those little, little folks, those things that will not allow us or will not allow us rain in our life, those things that will not allow us to get to heaven, to prepare ourselves for him, God said we should take those things away of our life and be ready to meet the Lord our God. And as we are preparing ourselves to meet the Lord our God, to reign with him in his kingdom, the Lord of his mercy will reign upon our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. I want us to close our eyes. I want us to close our eyes and to examine ourselves very well. Let's check our life. So any area that we have missed it, that we have not performed up to the standard of God, the expectation of God for our life, that may cause us not to prepare or not to reign with him, then talk to God about that area. Ask the Lord to help you. You can't help yourself, except you depend on him. You can't help yourself. He said, without me, you can do nothing. So ask the Lord to help me, to help you in those areas that you are faulty or that you have defaulted. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you are come today, if you arrive today, I'm sorry so that I can reign with you. I can go with you. Those unprepared area of my life, those unfollowed area of my life, those unblow area of my life, because many of us are still thinking, we still believe that we still have more time. There is no time, beloved. The Bible says the time is very, very short. So talk to God and ask for forgiveness. Ask for his mercy over your life. And tell him to help you in those areas. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, help me. Those areas of my life that have not been prepared, those areas of my life that have not been caught in, that are yet to be that are not that are yet to be proved. I'm sorry, Lord, deliver me. Help me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Have mercy, Lord, in the name of Jesus. in my life, disobedience, lying. In the mind of this nonchalant attitude, give me in the name of every deliberate or non deliberate sin. Lord, forgive me in the name of God. Lord, have mercy on me in the name of this. Every sort in my life, every inadequacy in my life, I'm sorry, not forgive you in the name of Jesus. Every form of disobedience, every excuse, I like Lord, I'm sorry, forgive me, have mercy on me. If I have mercy, Lord, have mercy in the name of Jesus. I don't know, Lord. 
prepare myself for your coming. To prepare to meet the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. Mighty name we pray. Amen. I want us to sing this song. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Before we pray. Amen. Amen. Have your way, oh Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Oh, Lord. Have your way in our lives. Have your way, oh Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Thank you, Father. Say, my Father, my Father. My Father, my Father. Renew my commitment with you. Renew my commitment with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, name of Jesus. My, father, my father, my father, we renew my commitment with you in the name of Jesus. We renew my commitment with you in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, we renew my commitment with you in the name of Lord, renew my commitment with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Almighty God, renew my commitment. In the name of Jesus, Lord, my commitment with you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, in my commitment. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus, mighty name we pray. Say, Father, Lord, Father, Lord, whatever that have taken away my focus from you. Whatever that have taken my focus away from you. Aha. Whatever that have taken my focus away from you. Whatever that have taken my focus away from you. Aha. Let it expire now by fire. In the mighty name of In the name of Jesus. My Father, my Lord. Whatever that have taken away my focus from you. I focus away from you. Let it expire. Let it expire. Him, let it expire. 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 Yay, Jesus. That is the day we pray. Aha. Say, Holy Spirit. Aha. In my spiritual wound. In my spiritual wound. In my spiritual wound. In my spiritual injury. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit. In my spiritual wound. In my spiritual injury, in the mighty name of Jesus, wherever I've been wounded, in the cause of my of of of, 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 of cultivated as the cause of my blood area of my life, Father, heal my wound in the name of Jesus. Heal my wound, heal my injury in the name of Jesus. The injury that I've sustained in the cause of my cultivated area of my life, in the cause of my broken area of my life, Father, heal that wound. By your mercy, Lord, heal my wound. My spiritual wound, Lord, heal my wound. In the name of Jesus. Emotional wound, Lord, heal my wound. In the name of Jesus. Lord, heal my wound. Spiritual wound. Emotional wound. My spiritual wound. My spiritual wound. In Jesus, my name we pray. Amen. 
Say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Aha. Let the rain of righteousness come upon my life. In the name of Jesus. Aha. When you look at that book of uh, Acts of Apostles, chapter 3, verse 19, when Apostle Peter was telling the people that listen to the word, he said they should repent from their sin so that a time of refreshment can come from the Lord. Praise the Lord. So yeah. when God reigns the reign of righteousness upon our life, our entire life will be completely refreshed. We will become another person entirely. Thank you, Father. Say, Holy Spirit of God, reign the reign of righteousness upon my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God, reign the reign of righteousness upon my life. Holy Spirit, reign the reign of righteousness upon our life. In the mighty name of Jesus, reign the reign of righteousness upon our life. Spirit of the living God. Reign the reign of righteousness upon our life in the name of Jesus. Reign the reign of righteousness upon our life in the name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God. Reign the reign of righteousness upon our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Mighty name we pray. Amen. Lastly, we are going to pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Aha. Uh -huh. Say, mercy of God. Mercy, mercy of God. Aha. Uh -huh. Avail for me. Avail for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mercy of God. Avail for me in the name of Jesus. Avail for me tonight in the name of Jesus. Mercy of God. Avail for me in the name of Jesus. In the name of mercy of God, I pray for us in the name of Jesus. Let His mercy be shown over our life in the name of Jesus. Let the mercy of God be revealed in our life in the name of Jesus. Let His mercy be revealed. Let His mercy be shown over our life. Mercy of God, I pray for us in the name of Jesus. I pray for us tonight in the name of Jesus. I pray for us tonight in the name of Jesus. Mercy of God, I pray for us tonight. Let his mercy be shown over our life. In the mighty name of God. In the name of God. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Amen. Very powerful, amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beloved, we thank God for what God has done in our midst tonight. We want to listen for this uh, announcement that we have before we would bring everything to close. But before that time, we're going to open our mouth together and thank the Almighty God for all that He has been doing and what he has done tonight again. Shall we open our mouth and be to thank God in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord Almighty. We glorify your name. We bless you. We glorify you. We say you are God indeed for what you have done in our midst tonight. Father, take all glory, take all honor. We return all glory back to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord Almighty, for your message. We thank you for your worship. We thank you for your praises. We thank you for beautiful, wonderful, marvelous things that you have done. We thank you for the refreshing time. We thank you, Lord Almighty, for lifting our spirits again. We thank you for the heart breaking message, Father. We say, Be thou exalted, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord Almighty, for the agenda for our lives. We thank you, Lord, the rock of babies, King of the Lord of Lord, for making us to stand by your word. Father, take all glory, honor, and all in Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray for the servant of God that God has used for us for his work today. That God will infill him by his power, that he shall prosper in every area of his life, and arrow of darkness will not locate him, 
In the name of Jesus, we open our mouth and begin to pray for him. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray, Lord, for your son that you have used for us to touch. Father, we pray that. You proper, you will repeal him by your power in the name of Jesus. We pray that the hour of darkness will not locate him in Jesus' name, we will not locate his family in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that the mercy of God will continue to locate him in the name of Jesus. And this message by the word of God that we have spoken will not be in the name of Jesus. We pray that you feel him a friend in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Uh, beloved, we thank God. Evangelism is the way of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, we have heard and we have been saying it several times that we need to be sharing this program, this existing one, and the program of our deliver, I mean deliverance program that is coming up. That we need to we need to share it. We need to invite our people because this program will be coming up by the third week in the month of September. It will be on the 16th, 17th, and 18th. It's going to be the weekend. And the Almighty God will help us in the name of Jesus. This program is going to be a great one. And uh, this is a really time of refreshing, the time that we need to deliver ourselves from every shackles of problem of life. And the Lord Almighty will visit us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So when you share the program, no, we are being impact or impact people's life. Amen. So Amen. we need to be we need to be doing this, and the Lord Almighty will continue to bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Uh, another thing that we need to talk about is for us to always be our brother's keeper, our brothers, our sisters' keeper, not only. When we give money, we can pray for ourselves. We can pick a name. It does not matter to know the fellow, but pick a name. Pray as the Lord leads. Oh God, arise, give this fellow a financial freedom, fight our battles. When you, are, when you are doing your own prayer, let us pray for ourselves. And who knows? The Lord is waiting to use you. Praise the Lord. And that is the unity that we have in the Lord. According to Psalm 133, verse 1, it said, Behold, how good, how pleasant for brethren to dwell together is unity. The Lord Almighty, we continue to help us, united us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And uh, that sister that is going for interview, at a closer age tonight, let us pray for our sister uh, that is going for interview. And we will see that the Almighty God will go extra mile for her, and everything that God has created will work favor for her in the name of Jesus. Let us Amen. continue. Amen. Let us pray for her until something happens. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, this is what we have now. If there is any other announcements that we will have from the coordinator, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Is there any other announcement? There is no other announcement yet. Okay. Yes. Shall we close our eyes? And we are going to pray like this. Say, I plug myself, I plug myself. into I the socket of plug power. Plug myself into the socket of power. In the name of Jesus, I plug myself into the socket of power. In the name of Jesus, I plug myself into the socket of power. In the name of Jesus, I plug myself into the socket of power. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. This new week, in the name of Amen. Myself into the socket of power. This new week, oh God, arise. Oh God, this new week. Do a oh new God, thing uh, in my life. 
and do a new thing in my life. In the name of Jesus, let us open a matter of In the name of Jesus, in this new week, in this new week, arise, O Lord, do a new thing in my life. Do a new thing, Lord. 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 Do a new thing, Amen. 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 Lord and our Father, we thank you for this refreshing moment. We thank you for this message of taking the inventory of our lives. We thank you for the encouragement. We thank you for making us to stand. We thank you for making us to know that we are a sojourner on this earth. We thank you because you have sent us to this world to do a tangible thing for you. We have a home going. Father, we pray, Lord, that the word and the garment of righteousness let it come upon us in the name of Jesus. In this journey, oh Lord Almighty, strengthen us by your own power in the name of Jesus. Ability, power, enablement to break our fallow ground. Father, let it rest upon us in the name of Jesus. Our Lord and our God, King of kings, the Lord of lords, as we are going, Lord, we pray, Lord Almighty, that we do everything in our lives this week in the name of Jesus. We pray that everything that you have created will work before for our lives, We work victory for us, We work promotion in the name of Jesus. Father, everything that we lay our hand on shall go in the name of Jesus. People will come the will not come into the life of anyone in the name of Jesus. As we come back here next week, Father, we will have cause to jubilate, to dance our dance, to say thank you, Lord, for that which you have done in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shall we share the great fellowship? The grace of our Lord, of our Lord Jesus, Christ. Jesus Christ, the love of God, the and the sweet of the Holy Spirit be with us now Amen. and forevermore. Amen. 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 God, goodness and mercy Lord, of God, all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. We are going to shout eight. Powerful hallelujah. Shall we go? Eight powerful hallelujah. Let's go. Ah, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. God bless you all. God bless you all. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. We all bless you, Jesus. Name. Hmm. <laughs>
the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, mm. I think before we start, let uh, let our meeting. Praise oh, the Lord. Yeah. In case um, the 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 program is 